And uh, I'm going to start with Ken and Johnny today. Look at that cover, boy. You talk about a good looking couple, man, oh man, and in love. And that's the way they are. I'll tell you, they are in love. But it was been, it's been tough sledding. You guys have been married, what, 31 years? Somewhere 31 in, years. 31 years. She's been in that wheelchair 46. She's had searing pain for the last 12. In 2010, she came down with cancer. Last week, we left the folks where she had flown across the country with a broken leg. You didn't want her to go, she went, because you didn't know if she had it or not. It started swelling up on the plane. And you called from Los Angeles to Baltimore. And what did you tell this woman? Because you melted her heart just by what you said. Well, first of all, I mean, I said, Johnny, I'm coming over there now. And she was protesting at the time. But I could tell in the way that she said it that that was just exactly the right thing to do. And so I ended up flying the next day. And, and uh, it, it, it set the table for us. I mean, you know, Johnny, for the first time, saw that I really meant what I, I said, that, that I wanted to be there so that I could help her. And I was so sorry for the fact that she did break her leg. And I think it also set the table for when we got the diagnosis for cancer. Yeah, we're talking to folks who are approaching the finish. And you guys have thought you have, you hit the finish a couple times. Mm -hmm. And let's talk a little bit about this, when she found out that she had this breast cancer here's another blow. In other words, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse, it gets worse. But God starts speaking to you. And he, in your devotion, says, Ken, what? I think what happened, John, and, and if I could go back yeah. for a second and just mention <clears throat> that God had spoken to me years before saying that Johnny is the most precious gift I've given you you take care of her. That wasn't an audible voice, but it was a voice nonetheless that I've heard in my heart. And I didn't understand it at the time. But in 2010, when Johnny was diagnosed with cancer, I finally got it. This is what Jesus was getting me ready for. Um, I remember very clearly um, going in, a friend of ours, there was some disfiguration in, in one of Johnny's breasts, and I, I went in and looked at it. We didn't know what it was, but we knew there was something there. So we made a, a mammogram appointment the next day, and um, when we went in for the mammogram, you know, the one thing we learned in all this journey was that it's a hurry up and wait. So they couldn't tell us if it was cancer, but they wanted to do an ultrasound. So they said at the time, that we think that you should go ahead and, and uh, contact a, an oncological surgeon. The surgeon can tell us, but he said we need to ha probably have an operation here because it looks suspicious. We had the operation. In, in this whole process, Johnny and I learned that God was working in our hearts, that everything slowed down, everything stopped. No more traveling, no more, it was just she and I and we had some of the sweetest moments just in conversation and just being able to talk in the backyard and realizing that there is a bigger picture out there. You know, all those little squabbles that we had, all the little arguments that we might have had, they were, became meaningless because there was this bigger picture. 